Did you know that just by studying these mummies, we know what they ate, how they spent the last few days of their life, their medical history, and even their cause of death? Isn't it interesting to believe? We often featured mummies in the fictional movies. While thankfully there has never been any stories of mummies reanimating. However, most of the oldest mummies ever discovered were naturally preserved by such factors as arid desert heat, mud, or layers of thick ice. The oldest intentionally mummified people were found in South America and date back to about 5000 BC, thousands of years before Egyptians started preserving their dead. Why did they start mummification? Does it really keep the body intact so it could be transported to a spiritual afterlife? Let's see some mummies that are the oldest of all time. <laughs> Number 10, Ramesses II. Ramesses II, also known as Ramesses the Great, is often considered to be the greatest, most powerful, and most celebrated pharaoh of the ancient Egyptian empire. He was the third pharaoh of Egypt's 19th dynasty and ruled from 1279 to 1213 BCE. It was originally buried in a tomb in the Valley of the Kings, but was later transferred because of looting by priests to the tomb of Queen Inhapi, which was discovered in 1881 AD. His body was moved again three days later to the tomb of High Priest Pinujem II. The story is inscribed on the linen covering his body. During examinations of Ramesses II's body, researchers discovered that he was originally a redhead and that he had arthritis which caused him to walk with a hunched back toward the end of his life. Number 9. King Tutankhamun The discovery of King Tutankhamun's commonly called King Tut's tomb is one of the most famous archaeological finds of the modern era. His tomb is one of the most intact ever found, and it has produced more than 5,400 artifacts. Since Tutankhamun's tomb and body were well preserved, researchers have been able to learn much about royal burials, mummification, and the tombs of ancient Egypt's 18th dynasty. Because not much was initially known about Tutankhamun's death, though it was estimated in 1323 BCE, there have been several conspiracy theories proposed that have infiltrated popular culture through movies, TV, and fictional books. However, researchers believe that Tutankhamun's death was unexpected and accidental, which explains why no records exist about his death and why his burial chamber was small for a pharaoh. Later on, his chamber was discovered and set to preserve since 1922 AD. Number 8. Egdved Girl The Egdved Girl is a well-known mummy from Denmark who was buried in a well-preserved coffin that was uncovered in 1921. It is estimated that the year of death was 1370 BCE, although the tree trunk coffin was well preserved. The girl's bones did not survive and only her clothing, hair, nails, and some teeth were in good condition. Also inside her coffin were the cremated remains of a child that was about 5 or 6 years old. Historians believe that the young lady was a priestess of a Scandinavian sun cult because of the spiral symbols on her belt. More recent research has revealed that the girl was not originally from Denmark, but was from the Black Forest in Germany. It is believed that she may have married a chieftain in Denmark to form a strategic alliance. Number 7. Amenhotep I The mummy of Amenhotep I is unique and features one of the most exquisite and well-preserved face masks of any royal Egyptian mummy. Since the face mask is so delicate and beautiful, Amenhotep I is the only royal mummy who has not been unwrapped and studied by modern Egyptologists. Amenhotep I was the second pharaoh of Egypt's 18th dynasty. He ruled from about 1526 BCE until his death in 1506 BCE. Sometime during the 20th, 1189 BCE to 1077 BCE, or 21st, 1069 BCE to 945 BCE dynasty. Amenhotep the first mummy was moved from its original resting place, which is unknown, to the Deir el Bahri cache and hidden with other royal mummies from Egypt's New Kingdom time period. Number 6. Lady Ray Lady Ray is one of the oldest known mummies uncovered in Egypt. She was discovered in 1881, and researchers estimate that she was about 30 to 40 years old when she died, around 1530 BCE. From the writings left behind about Lady Ray, we know that she was the nursemaid to Queen Amos Nefertari, who was the first queen of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt. The mummified body of Amos Enhapi, the aunt of Amos Nefertari, was found in Lady Ray's outer coffin. In 2009, researchers conducted a CAT scan of the Lady Ray's body and discovered that she had atherosclerosis. She is the oldest known mummy with the disease, and several other Egyptian mummies also show signs of atherosclerosis. Number 5. Otzi the Iceman 
found to be mummified in 3300 BCE, is one of the most famous mummies in the world. His accidental discovery in 1991 by two German tourists on a hike immediately drew worldwide media coverage. Since he was recovered from the Otstall Alps, which is named after, he has been extensively studied. Due to the location of his death, Otzi's body has been well preserved by the ice. Through different tests, we now know several things about Otzi. He has living relatives who share a common ancestor that lived 10,000 to 12,000 years ago. He had over 50 tattoos across his body, some of the oldest tattoos ever discovered. He had anatomical abnormalities as well as several health problems, and his diet consisted of pollen and goats. In 2012, scientists were able to extract red blood cells from Otzi's body. Number 4. Jebeline Man, Ginger The Jebeline Man is the most well-known of the six naturally mummified bodies discovered in graves near Jebeline, now called Naga el Geria, in Egypt. The Jebeline Man was first uncovered at the site in 1896, and since 1901 the body has been displayed at the British Museum. The mummy was nicknamed Ginger because of its visibly red hair. In 2012, new research revealed that the Jebeline Man was probably murdered. Researchers have always noted the wound on the surface of the mummy's skin, but did not discover how damaged his body was until they conducted a digital autopsy. They discovered that his shoulder blade as well as the rib under that shoulder blade were damaged, which suggests he died a violent death. Number 3. Tashwanat Mummy The Tashwanat Mummy found at the Uan Mugiag archaeological site in Libya is between 5400 to 5600 years old. The age of the mummy is significant because it predates any of the mummies found in neighboring Egypt. It was discovered by Professor Fabrizio Mori in 1958. The mummy is a small child, about three years old, that was found in the fetal position. The body was embalmed, carefully wrapped with leaves, and covered by an antelope skin. Its entrails were replaced with wild herbs to help with its preservation. The Tashwanat mummy is currently the oldest known mummy from Africa. Since its discovery, researchers now believe that mummification in Africa did not start in Egypt, but probably elsewhere in the continent by an unknown civilization. Number 2. Chinchoro Mummies The Chinchoro mummies are considered to be some of the oldest mummies in the world. Since they were first discovered in 1917, over 282 mummies have been uncovered at burial sites along the narrow coastal strip from Ilo in southern Peru to Antofagasta in northern Chile. About 29% of the mummies were naturally preserved, including the oldest mummy in the group, the Acha Man. Around 5000 BCE, the Chinchoro people began purposefully mummifying their dead, about 2000 years before the Egyptians started the practice. The Chinchoro continued to preserve their dead until about 3000 BCE and developed three distinct styles of mummification, black, red, and mud-coated. Number 1. Spirit Cave Mummy The Spirit Cave Mummy is the oldest known mummy in the world and is over 9400 years old. It was first discovered in 1940 by Sydney and Georgia Wheeler, a husband and wife archaeological team. The Spirit Cave Mummy was naturally preserved by the heat and aridity of the cave it was found in. In 1997, a tribe in Nevada's Fallon Reservation enacted the Native American Grave Protection and Repatriation Act, the NAGPRA to claim the spirit cave mummy's remains. For nearly two decades, the tribe fought a legal battle against the US government, who did not want to return the mummy. In 2016, the mummy was finally returned to the tribe, after its DNA was sequenced to determine that he was related to contemporary members of the tribe. Well, what do you think? Is it a great idea to mummify the dead bodies? We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we're sure you're going to love to watch our videos about 10 dark secrets of ancient Egypt that you won't believe on our channel. Make sure to click the subscribe button for future notifications and never miss our videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.